All right, here's how to change the serpentine uh, drive belt on a Chevy pickup truck. This one has the 5.7 liter 350 V8 engine in it. So this is your belt tensioner. And if you put a torque wrench on the pulley of the belt tensioner, not on the middle of it, but on the pulley itself, and then you grab it and pull, you can see that pulley moves up, which takes the stress off the belt so you can take the belt off. And then you let the pulley go, put the new belt in place of the old belt, and you're good to go. So a smart person would take pictures and maybe even draw themselves a diagram of the way that the belt goes. And depending on what kind of accessories your truck has, like air conditioning, um, it's going to have a different size belt going over different pulleys. So it's best to either get the manual for your truck and look at it, or... Uh, definitely take a picture and study where the belt goes. Also, when you're buying a new belt, it's best to take the old belt off, bring it in, and make sure the new one is the same size. Like on this truck, some people have a heavy-duty alternator with a bigger pulley on it, so the belt could be an inch longer or an inch shorter depending on the alternator. And there's various other factors as well. You can see this belt's starting to go. This is actually some, some string coming loose on the belt, so it's definitely time to replace it. Um, one way if the belt is broken and flown out of there and you can't take a picture of it, one rule of thumb here is the belt has grooves on one side and is smooth on the other side. So there are smooth pulleys, like this pulley right here is smooth, so you know that that one goes on the smooth side of the belt. And then this one down here has grooves in it, so you know that that one goes on the grooved side of the belt. So what you do is you take the tension off the belt, pop it off one of the pulleys, take it off all the other pulleys, and then you put it on everything except this pulley for the tensioner and then pull on this to loosen up the tension, slide the belt under it and you're good to go. All right, so I've got the belt on all of the pulleys except for the tensioner pulley. So I just push it down kind of to the side of the tensioner pulley and then get my wrench on it. Then move it up, pop it under there. And before I make it tight, I just take a look to make sure it's in all the right grooves and then let her go, fire it up and see if anything breaks. If the old belt wasn't completely broken, you might want to throw it in the trunk or, or keep it on the car just in case your new belt breaks. That way you'll have a backup and you won't have to go looking for a belt out in the middle of the desert someday.